Dr. Craven, at the Glaucoma 360 meeting, you made a, delivered a presentation entitled Micropulse Transcolaral Psychophotocoagulation, and you outlined how it was an effect, new effective tool for glaucoma. Could you uh, elaborate on your talk? You bet, Mark. It's always a mouthful to say that. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the transcleral cyclophotocoagulation has uh, evolved. And if you look at the history of what we've tried to do with, with turning off the faucet, if you will, and decreasing the uh, aqueous outflow. We started off with cryotherapy and we used cautery and then we used ultrasound and then we finally started to fine tune it with lasers. So we had the internal lasers with the uh, endocyclophotocoagulation or ECPs, a lot of people like that because it's a little bit gentler. And whenever we go transcleral, which is what we call transcleral cyclophotocoagulation, we had a little bit more inflammation than we wanted to see and some problems with like cystoid macular edema and such. So, so what happened is that we tried to look for a better way to deliver the energy to still get the same thing, but to cut out some of the side effects. So the idea was, as opposed to having a strong pulse or burst of energy, we would tune that down a little bit and move the probe around the eye to be able to deliver the energy to the ciliary body so you wouldn't end up with as many problems post-operatively. So that's really the heart of what the micropulse technology is about. So it delivers the, the energy at a lower amount to the tissue, so there's less collateral damage, if you will, from, from what we do with that. Good. So basically, what's your take home message to the clinician uh, regarding this new, new procedure? Yeah, you know, the, the uh, enthusiasm we always have for cyclophotocoagulation is, is high. Um, I remember when we first did the transcleral with the Lazog at Will's Eye when, when I was a fellow there a number of years ago. And <clears throat> people were saying, gosh, this is gonna just get rid of the need to do glaucoma filtering surgery because there was the idea that, well, this will work for everybody. Well, it's not quite the case. And you know, with any procedure, we have to kind of find the right niche. So I think the, the main message with the micropulse is that it's probably for those people that aren't necessarily the far in stage eyes like we've tended to use cyclophotocoagulation for. It's more for the, uh, the moderate glaucoma, if you will, where it might fit a niche where you don't want to do necessarily a tube shunt surgery or filtering surgery, and you'll do this instead, and, or maybe supplement it with those things. And then that way you end up with uh, control of the pressure by turning down the aqueous inflow. Yeah. Is it this, as you mentioned, this procedure has been evolving for some time, and I remember it for several years before it's come to what it is. What, what does it do for the future of, of this procedure in terms of glaucoma patients? Yeah, you know, I, th I think what we're going to see, and like for instance, I went through a story thing to share with you just quickly. When we were at, uh, I was just came over from Saudi Arabia, I was the chief of glaucoma at the King Khalid Eye Specialist Hospital. And most of our cyclophotocoagulations we did in the operating room, so it took up our OR time. And we tried to find an option to be able to do cyclophotocoagulations maybe as in the clinic procedures. So we developed a new protocol and the micropulse allowed us to pull the procedures out of the operating room because it doesn't require as much anesthesia and it's not as painful or as difficult for the eyes to go through. So it allows people to look at this in a way that fits with practice needs sometimes. So maybe it could be done in the office, for instance. I know some people do that. Or certainly it could be done not necessarily in the operating room, which some people tend to do with cyclophotocoagulation the more standard CPC. Thank you, Dr. Craver, for your time. Appreciate it. You're welcome.